In today's video, I'll show you the best exercises to build massive forearms and wrists. While there are many exercises focused on enlarging the forearms, very few specifically target the wrists. Despite being small, the muscles in the forearm and wrist are powerful and crucial for achieving full upper body muscle development. I'll share my top 8 exercises for both the forearm and wrist. But first, let's tackle a common question. Can you really get thicker wrists like you can get bigger forearms? And what exactly are the components of your forearms? I'll answer these questions shortly. Stay with me until the end, and I'll also reveal my personal secret to gaining massive forearms and wrists beyond just the exercises. Factors that affect wrist size. Number one, genetics. Genetics play a crucial role in determining your bone structure, including the size of your wrists. If you have large wrists, it's likely because you inherited them from one or both of your parents. Essentially, your natural body type and skeletal dimensions are largely influenced by your genetic makeup. Number two, nutrition. Although it doesn't hold as much importance as genetics, your regular diet is another factor that contributes to your wrist size. For this reason, you must be attentive to your eating habits. For instance, boost your vitamin D and calcium intakes, as these two aids in the development of bones. Additionally, you must eat enough protein to promote the growth and strength of the muscles. The takeaway about getting bigger wrists. So what's the verdict then? Can you really get thicker wrists? The short answer is, not really. It's nearly impossible to get bigger wrists without the help of genetics and nutrition. It'll take time and effort, and the results would be minimal, if any. The primary reason being is that there's not much to go on there since the wrist has very little muscle on it, besides the bones, tendons, and skin. To get really bigger wrists, you would need to be born with thicker bones, or you must alter the structure of your forearm and head, and neither of them is an option. So what can you do? It's simple. Just concentrate on bulking up those forearm muscles. Unlike your wrists, your forearms have a lot more room for muscle growth. By training your forearms, you will also see a small extent of growth on your wrists when trained properly. Your forearms can grow quite big, and in turn, the actual size ratio between your forearms and your wrists will get bigger. But for men like you who are small-boned, there's a silver lining. The smaller your original body frame is, the more emphasized your forearms will look, ultimately giving you a bigger and more rounded appearance. Whereas if you have really large bones already, the muscles you pack on won't look as remarkable. Building strength and thickness in your forearms is a matter of finding the right exercises. But before that, it pays to know the anatomy of the forearm. Your forearms are composed of three muscles, and these are wrist flexors, wrist extenders, and brachioradialis. Real quick, hit that like button, and let's get back into it. Wrist flexors. The wrist flexors are on the posterior side of the forearm. To activate this group of muscles, you need to perform movements that combine repetitions and slow contractions. Wrist extenders. The wrist extenders cover the inner side of the forearms. Although your extenders are in a large muscle group, they can significantly change the shape of your entire forearm. Then, finally, the main muscle in the forearm that gets most of the bulk of the muscles is your brachioradialis. When it comes to size, the brachioradialis is the primary part of the forearm. This large forearm muscle activates when your arm makes sudden movements or when you lift heavy objects. Interestingly, the brachioradialis is not just the largest muscle in the forearm, but is also superficial. As such, training them will make the largest impression on your forearm's appearance. Now that we have the basics covered, let's get right into the forearm exercises. Perform them, or at least four out of the eight exercises twice a week, and aim for two to three sets to failure for each exercise. Best exercises for massive forearms plus wrists. Number one, wrist extensions. As their name suggests, wrist extensions train your wrist extenders. Your extenders won't grow massive, but they can grow drastically bigger leading to a thicker, more muscular appearance of your forearms. To start, sit on a chair or bench with a dumbbell in each hand. Hinge forward from the hips, not slump forward, so your forearms rest on your thighs. Position your hands with palms down and move them forward so your wrists are just past your knees. 
Now extend your wrists, keeping your forearms planted on your knees as you bend your wrists backward, and then lift the weights. This must be a small motion only. Lower the dumbbells back to the starting position, then repeat. For the next exercise, think biceps curls, but with your wrists. Yes, I'm talking about number two, wrist curls. Since wrist curls are a more difficult exercise than most of you might expect, use a light weight at first. To start, sit on a chair or bench and rest your forearms on your thighs. Position your hands with palms up. Next, scooch your hands forward so that your wrists are just forward of your knees. Slowly let the dumbbells roll out of your palms and down into your fingers, but not out of your hands. Grip the weights, pulling them back into your palms and flex your wrists, pointing your knuckles towards the sky as close as you can comfortably manage. That's one repetition. Unlike the previous two that required the use of weights, this time, for the grip crusher exercise, you'll need a wrist squeezer or more commonly known as a hand gripper. Number three, grip crushers. Among various grip strengthening exercises, Using hand grippers is my top choice because it's simple yet incredibly effective for targeting the grip and forearms. Here's how to do it. Grasp a hand gripper firmly in one hand and squeeze it until the handles meet. Start your workout with lighter resistance to warm up, then progress to two to three sets using a gripper that you can fully close for five to 10 repetitions. This exercise not only strengthens your grip, but also helps to build forearm muscle and endurance. Number four, hammer curls. If traditional bicep curls are one of your go-to exercises, then you'll like hammer curls too. It uses a neutral grip, which places some of the work on the forearm. To do it, stand and hold a pair of dumbbells at arm's length by your sides with your palms facing each other. Curl the weights as close to your shoulders as you can, all the while keeping your elbows tucked your upper arms locked in place, only your hands and forearms should move and your palms facing inward. Pause to feel the burn, then slowly lower the weights back to the starting position. The inverted row is another great exercise for building your forearms, a bit harder than usual, but definitely amazing for muscle growth. Get to know it in a bit. Hammer curls are excellent for increasing arm strength and thickness particularly in the forearms and biceps. Next, we'll explore the inverted row, a more challenging exercise that is also fantastic for building forearm muscle. Stay tuned to learn about this effective workout addition. Number five, reverse curls. The reverse curl is best done with an easy bar, but if you don't have one, you can use dumbbells instead. Reverse curls focus most of the work on your brachioradialis. To start, stand with dumbbells in each hand, arms by your sides, and palms facing back. Lift the weights to about chest height, all the while keeping your elbows close to your sides as you bend your arms at the elbows. Also, keep your palms in the same orientation throughout the exercise. Slowly lower the weights to complete the repetition. By the way, your forearms are just one of the many muscle groups that need working out. Your glutes for one, are just as important. More on that coming up in a bit. Number six, farmer's carry. The farmer's carry is an essential exercise to create a powerful forearm. It also develops a stronger core and improves your shoulder stability. To perform it, grab a dumbbell or kettlebell in each hand, stand tall and start walking. Throughout the exercise, keep your abs braced, your chest tall and your shoulders pulled back. Number seven, inverted row. The inverted row builds the forearm specifically in strength while targeting the muscles of the shoulder and upper back. The more horizontal your body, the more challenging the exercise. To start, set up a bar in a Smith machine or power rack at waist height and lie on the floor underneath it. Grab the bar using an overhand grip that's slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Next, hang with your arms fully extended and your body straight from head to heels. Keep your shoulders directly below your hands and your heels hip width apart. Now, keeping your core engaged, pull your chest to the bar as you squeeze your shoulder blades together. Pause to feel the burn, then slowly return to the original position. Do you find inverted rows or maybe standard pull-ups challenging? If so, then wait until you try towel pull-ups. Number eight, towel pull-ups. 
This version is tougher than the regular pull-up because it really works your forearms. To hold on, you need to grip the towels tightly and use more strength to pull up. It's okay if you can only do one or two reps at first. To start, hang two towels over a pull-up bar and grab one with each hand. Do your pull-ups, keeping your chest up and shoulders down. If it's too difficult, try using one towel and one bare hand on the bar, switching hands each time. Made it this far in the video? Here are my three secrets to getting huge forearms. First, increase your training volume. This means the total weight you lift during a workout. Use heavy weights and fewer reps and keep going until your muscles are tired. This helps them grow. Be patient and slowly add more weight and intensity. Second, eat more protein. To get bigger muscles, you need lots of protein, which builds and repairs muscle. Aim for at least two grams per kilo of your body weight. Lastly, commitment is essential. Strong forearms are not just for looks. They help with everyday tasks like opening bottles or carrying groceries. Keep your forearms in your regular workouts. Building them is just the beginning. To really shape up your entire body, you'll need to work on other muscles like your glutes, hamstrings, and abs. If you want to know what are the 10 effective foods to lose belly fat or how creatine benefits your body in weeks, then click here and also click subscribe.